Chapter 2 The New Guild Recruits This is Wigglytuff's guild. To form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then, you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. What if I don't want to do any of that? Y yikes Isn't there something just a little odd about the place? Like what? No. I've got Dongle with me this time. I have to be brave. Pokemon detected! I said Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Togekisses! I repeat the footprint is Togekisses! Huh? Ah. No. I have to be strong. You may enter! Someone's with you! So get that stand- uh, get that stranger to stand up there! They probably meant you, Dongle. They said to stand up here. There's a grate covering the hole. It's made so that no one can fall through. Still, it's really strange. It looks like it'll tickle my feet, or... Hey, you! Stranger! Get on the grate! Fine, I'll get on the grate, goddamn. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is... The footprint is... Um... What's the matter? Sentry! Sentry! What's wrong, Sentry Diglett? Um... Uh... That is a fucking big hole. Um, the footprint is... Uh, maybe float cells? What? Maybe! But, but... It's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Ugh, that's pretty crummy. Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon. That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Who the fuck is this guy? Being so mean to my dude Diglett right here. Yes, but I don't know what I don't know. Isn't that adult life in a nutshell? What? Are they having a spat? Are they arguing? I like mine better, having a spat. Sorry to make you wait. Well, it's true that you don't see many floats on these parts. But you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough. Enter! Jesus Christ, they just opened it up like that. Yikes! I'm so nervous, so jittery. I can't wait to see everybody that lives in this tiny tent. But I'm glad we're allowed in. My heart's pounding though. Okay, let's go in. There's a hatch that leads underground here. Are you telling me that not that the guild isn't just a tent? I'm upset. Wow. So this is Wigglytuff's guild. So many Pokemon. I wonder if they're all on exploration teams. Excuse me! It was you two that just came in, right? Yes. I'm Chatot. I'm the Pokemon that knows around here, that in the know around, around the, it's in the know around these parts. I'm Guildmaster Wigglytuff's right hand Pokemon. Now, shoo, leave the present. God, I really wish I could speak to you. We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off you go, if you please. N no, that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. What? Exploration team? I'm trying to see a kid like this who wants to apprentice at the guild. First off, we're not kids. We're fully evolved Pokemon. Especially given how hard our training is. Surely the steady, steady stream of Pokemon that run away from our rigorous training proves how true that is. Uh, excuse me. Is the exploration team training that severe? What? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not true in the slightest. Our training program for exploration teams is as easy as can be. 
Well, well, well. I wish you would have told me up front that you wanted to form an exploration team. Hehehe. <laughs> attitude only changed, didn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and sign up right away. Follow me. I said follow me, you dipshits. This is the guild's second underground floor. This is where mainly where the apprentices work. Team registration is this way. Come along, please. Pretty nice place. Whoa, a window! We're two floors underground, but we can see outside. Oh, please, hush now! The guild is built on the side of a cliff. It's only natural that you will be able to see outside because we decided to put in a window. Oh. Now. Here we are in Grill, grill, grill Master. <laughs> grill Master Wigglytuff. On no account, I repeat, on no account should you be discourteous to our Grill Master. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this from now on, it's funnier. Grill Master! It's Chadot! I'm coming in! Grill Master! I present to you two Pokemon who wish to join our grill as apprentices. Grillmaster. Um. Grillmaster? Hiya! Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me. I'm Wigglytuff. I'm the grill's grillmaster. <laughs> God, this is gonna be so annoying. You wanna form an exploration team? Then let's go for it! First, we must register your exploration team's name. So tell me your team's name. Uh, we really haven't thought of that yet. What do you think we should name our team, Dongle? I have the perfect name in mind, and it's not going to be Pokey Pals. We're calling our- we're calling ourselves... As soon as I get the rest of this name in. Ding dongs. Wait a minute, I have a better idea. Where is it? Damn it, there's. Is there no. Fuck. I thought there was gonna be a money sign. That's saddening. Oh well. Ding dongs, it shall be. Ding dongs? Team ding dongs! We're team ding dongs! Yeah, that's a good name. It's Susuds. I'll settle then. I'll register your team name as Ding Dongs. Registering, registering. All registered. You da! Congratulations. We're now on your official exploration team. Congratulations to Team Ding Dongs. I present you with this in commemoration. Wiggly's tough to set down a Pokemon exploration team kit. A Pokemon exploration team kit? That's right, a Pokemon Exploration Team Kit. You wanna know what's inside your ex your Pokemon Exploration Team Kit? Stuff that you'll find in your Pokemon Exploration Team Kit. I'm probably going to hate saying that over and over. It's what every Pokemon Exploration Team needs. Quick, open it up. Thing is open up the Pokemon Exploration Team Kit. There was a, po a Pokemon Exploration Team Badge inside and a Pokemon Exploration Team Wonder Map. And a Pokemon Exploration Team treasure bag. Yeah, there are all sorts of great items here in the Pokemon Exploration Team kit. That's our exploration, ba exploration badge. Oh my god. It's your official team identification. And then there's a wonder map, which is a wonder of convenience. Do ho ho. Finally, there's a treasure bag. It lets you carry items that you find in dungeons. So that way we don't have to be limited to only one item. Your successes as the exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag. It's a very wonderful bag. Have a peek inside your treasure bag. Ding has peered into the Pokemon Exploration Team treasure bag. The defense scarf was inside. A sky blue bow. Those two items are special. I'm sure they will help you on your adventures. Thank you. We'll do our best. Th yep, yeah. Thanks, whatever. But you're only apprenticing at the guild at the guild right now. So do your best to train! We will! Let's always do our best, Dongle! 
Yeah! We did it! This is our room. Great! We get hay! You will live here while you work for us. Things will start getting busy for you tomorrow. So rise early and start living up to our code. Don't stay up late now. Get to sleep early tonight. That is all. And now, it is nighttime. A time where we can just sit down and appreciate the darkness. Oh my fucking god, we don't have sleeping animation, so we're just running in place. <laughs> oh, are you still awake, Ryan? Not Ryan. Who's Ryan? Dongle? I don't know. Am I? My heart's been racing all day oh, all day today over every little thing. How we're finally a Pokemon exploration team and how we have a Pokemon ex exploration team kit. But I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Wigglytuff would be scary, but he seems pretty friendly. We're going to experience all sorts of things during tomorrow, but I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the other way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, Dongle. Good night. Um, I'm not asleep. You know, I'm starting, suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting to be in an exploration team. And it's pretty fun to be friends with Dongle. Dingus. I'm Dongle. I, I'm gonna get these names confused up so much. But first things first. Who am I? Where am I? I don't even know my own name. How did I turn into a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on that beach? You know, running in place. I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, thinking about it won't help right now. I better focus on the guild's work for now. If I do that, well, everything should become clear eventually. I'll surely get to the bottom of this in time. And off they sleep. Of course we want to save our adventure. Exploration team, quick tip. You can save a record of your progress by climbing back into bed and sleeping the day away. So whenever you want to save your progress, just climb into your bed. The next morning. Hey! Hey there! Rise and shine! Ugh, my head is pounding. What a ridiculously loud voice. It almost blasted my eardrums. Why are you two still asleep? Wake up! Ugh. My poor ears. Come on, snap out of it! I'm Loudred, and I'm a fellow apprentice. If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it! Ma Grillmaster Wigglytuff has got a big temper. If you make him lose it... Yowie! That'll be one scary scene. <laughs> I got goosebumps just thinking about it. Yeesh! So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got up late. So get in gear! Uh, my ears are still ringing. Why do you say something about getting Ray? Ah shit, we need to get Ray! We signed up as apprentices at Wigglytuff's Grill. That's right. But that means... Ah! We totally overslept! We gotta hurry, Dongle! Run! You're late, rookies! Fuck you too. Hush! Your voice is ridiculously loud. <laughs> Everyone seems to be present. Very well, let's conduct our morning address. Grillmaster! The guild is in full attendance! Thank you, Grillmaster. Please address the crew. Yeah, you got that right. Yep, looks like he's wide awake. Eh, his eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Thank you, sir. We'll all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon, take our Grill Master's wor words of wisdom to our hearts. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers all together now. A one, a two, 
I'm on two, three, one. Don't shark work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! Uh, what do we do now? What do we do, Dongle? Dingle? Dongle? Dingle? I don't, I don't know what to do. Hey, should you... You shouldn't be wandering around there. You two, come here. Uh, okay, it looks like we're on an adventure. Off we go. You're just beginners. We'll have you start off with this assignment. This is the job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You're aware that bad Pokemons are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Yep, because the flow of time is getting messed up. It's wreaking havoc, right? Wait a minute, flow of time. Which is why lots of bad Pokemon are appearing. The flow of time is getting messed up. That's what I just said. Time, as in hour and minutes? Do they mean something has gone wrong with the time here? And because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up? What's going on here? Precisely. Time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that, we have noticed an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, it is unknown if this is because of the time's influence. There has also been a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. Oh, he said part of the game title! Mystery dungeons? So, Dongle. Yes, Dingus? You know how we got my relic fragment back yesterday? Yeah. The one place where we found it was called a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon changes a each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If you faint in the middle of a dungeon, you lose half your money. You can even lose half your items or, or more. Finally, you get kicked right out. They're very strange places. But every time you go back inside there, there are always new things to discover. They really are fantastic places to go exploring. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things easier for me to just explain. Jobs t all take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job that you should perform. Ah, yes, maybe this will do. Oh, really? Let's, let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink. An outlaw has ran off with my most perfect... Pro, uh, my most prized possession. My precious pearl. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Doesn't Spoink die if he loses his pearl? Uh, how is this guy riding if he's dead? Uh, this guy should be dead. That pearl is life itself. To me. I just can't seem to settle down if that pearl isn't in my its proper ha place at the top of my head. But I've heard my pearl's been sighted. It's said to be on a rocky bluff. But this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I could never go somewhere so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you be so kind as to go get go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help, exploration team members. From Spoink. Wait a second. We're going to fetch an item that someone dropped? I would rather do something that's more of an adventure. I'd rather look for treasure or explore unknown places. Things like that. Hush! Ugh. It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat the warnings again just to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if either of you faints. You'll lose half your money. And you can lose half your items or more. You best be careful. If you understood all that, I suggest you get on with the job. Uh, fine. This must be the bluff's entrance. Spoint's mission description said the pearl is dropped down on the B7F level. Basement 7th floor. It sounds like a seriously dangerous place. Let's be careful. But instead of doing that, I think it's a good time to stop for this video and save it for the rest of the uh, next episode. So, until the next episode, make sure you leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I'm Delta Flow, and I will see you guys later on.